boys. The government also made it clear that terrorism has no religion and is against humanity. The international community has expressed solidarity with India and have in one voice spoken against the scourge of terrorism. The United Nations asserted that it was closely looking at the situation. The United States also deplored the attack and extended condolences to the victims. Germany, Britain, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Mauritius, Maldives, France, Israel, Canada and many other countries and international organizations have slammed the terrorist attack. Our correspondent Siddhant is joining us for more on the global condemnation of the terror attack on Amarnath Yatris. Uh, Siddhant, the way the uh, world leaders have joined in one voice in condemning the attack clearly shows uh, the way you know, terrorism has been uh, put on one side and how the world over uh, India's con context of pointing out at the uh, terrorism that comes in from the neighboring soil has been put into forefront. Well, Preeti, the world has come uh, together to condemn the attack uh, on the Amarnath Yatri. Sri Lanka was the first country to condemn within uh, like uh, six hours of the attack. Sri Lanka condemned the attack and later on there was a slew of uh, condemnations from across the world. All the South Asian countries, barring one country, has condemned the attack. The Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, even said the attack is attack on civilization and humanity. Bangladeshi uh, leader Sheikh Hasina wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and said there should be zero tolerance towards terrorism. Uh, same views uh, were echoed by uh, Bhutan and Nepal. Globally, if we see, uh, Russia was the first country and later on tweets came out from various ambassadors uh, who are stationed in India uh, say condemning the attack. Uh, uh, the French ambassador and the German ambassador tweeted uh, deploring the attacks, the French uh, spokesperson of the foreign ministry uh, uh, came out with a statement recalling Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Paris and saying that uh, uh, both the countries uh, are working towards counter-terrorism. Remember, France has also come under a lot of attacks, a lot of terror attacks, and the German uh, 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 government also reacted. The German ambassador tweeted, and they also recall the Germany uh, recalled the uh, uh, recently concluded G20 communique. A separate communique came out, uh, a joint uh, leader statement condemning terror and calling it as a scourge, and also uh, calling that this uh, this phenomena should be removed from across uh, the world. Uh, remember, the G20 communique had taken a lot of. Uh, suggestions of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had uh, spoken about terrorism both at the G20 summit and at the informal BRICS meet that happened before uh, the uh, G20 summit. And uh, the latest reaction was from the State Department of the United States, even though the charge GFAs uh, who were stationed, stationed in uh, Delhi mm. had tweeted about uh, the attacks, uh, condemning the attacks. But the State Department came out with a state, uh, statement calling the attack as reprehensible and uh, also saying that uh, attacking civilians is a, a grave, grave uh, thing to do. Yes. So clearly, uh, uh, globally, if we can see, the world has come together to condemn the attack. And this happened also uh, immediately after the Uri attacks. And uh, all, uh, both the Uri attacks and the attacks on the Amarnath Yatris have uh, links with the Pakistan. And it's time that the uh, world uh, isolate Pakistan. And that has been India's uh, uh, effort at global forums. And uh, India has also been calling uh, for a consensus on CCIT, right. Comprehensive Convention on Terrorism. And hopefully, the world is listening and started to listen. And we can s expect a joint action sooner than later. All right, Siddhant, uh, we we'll landed at that. Thank you so much for joining us with those details. So our correspondent Siddhant giving us details of how the world has uh, condemned the attack on the Amarnath pilgrims and how we can see that uh, 